Welcome to Center Point Medical Center Surgical Weight Loss Online Seminar. Whether you are simply conducting research, comparing weight loss surgery options, or pursuing a revision procedure, we are glad you are here. While you are evaluating your options, you might realize we do things a bit differently. We hope you realize it is the compassion and expert care that sets center point apart from your typical bariatric program. We are fully committed to your safety, quality, service, satisfaction, and convenience. We realize patients often don't come to us just for weight loss. People come to us because they want to change their lives and they want a healthier future. It is our privilege to provide a program to help you live the life you want. Whatever your goal may be, kicking a soccer ball with your kids, running a 10K, or simply to feel better and reduce chronic illness. We will be with you each step of the way throughout your journey. My name is Brian Sterling. I was a patient of Dr. C.G. Josephs at Centerpoint Medical Center for bariatric surgery. We had a fireworks tent at our church and uh, somebody took a picture and we, they put it on the wall kind of as a showing everybody what, what was going on. And I asked my wife who the fat guy was and uh, that fat guy was me. I was embarrassed and so uh, I told my wife to call our insurance company and see what uh, options were out there. And uh, the next day she had an appointment with Dr. Joseph and he told me what steps I needed to take and two weeks I was having surgery. Really didn't interrupt my lifestyle much except for that day. Uh, as far as lifestyle change, there's a ton of things I couldn't do before that I'm able to do now. Um, I couldn't even put on my own socks and shoes. I had to get help with that on a daily basis and I can do that now and I'm walking about eight to 10 miles a day and enjoying life like I should. When you diet, try everything out there, the old ways, the new ways, uh, and you fail miserably at, at all of them, you never really think that there is an option out there for you. I can truly say that if I had to do it all over again, I would do it again tomorrow. It's, that, uh, it's the springboard that one needs to get into the pool. All we have to do is keep swimming. And if you can keep on the regimen that you need to be, eating correctly and exercising, you'll be fine. You'll, you'll continue to lose the weight and you'll get that healthy lifestyle you've always wanted. Hello, I'm Dr. C.G. Joseph. I'm glad you've decided to spend time with us to learn about our program, our facility, our team, and what to expect when choosing bariatric weight loss surgery. You have taken the first step towards creating a wonderful new chapter in your life. For many, the seemingly hopeless struggle to lose weight is finally overcome with bariatric weight loss surgery. The surgery is rather quick and the results are often dramatic, but success is greatly impacted by your engagement and knowledge, starting with this video seminar. This is your first step, and we ask that you pay close attention so that you can be well prepared for our pre-op meeting. In this seminar, you will hear about our quality and commitment to service excellence. Meet our bariatric navigator and understand the patient qualifications and payment options. You will also learn about your options, understand the difference between procedures that we offer, such as gastric bypass, gastric sleeve, lab band, stomach balloon, duodenal switch, and revisional procedures if you already had a bariatric procedure done previously. Superior outcomes start with patient education, engagement, and commitment. This video seminar is the starting point for all those aspects of the program. We are dedicated to making the process easy and effective. Our easy to access facility, state of the art technology, and caring staff create the comprehensive program you deserve. As we help you go through this journey, we are fully committed to you and your success. Let's get started by meeting the team here at Center Point Medical Center Surgical Weight Loss Program. I'm Angie Kanak, the Bariatric Nurse Navigator and Coordinator at Centerpoint Medical Center. 
Our entire team shares a commitment to quality, safety, and success on your journey to a healthier life. We provide safe bariatric surgical care with excellent short and long-term outcomes. As a navigator, I'm here to help you navigate through the process of scheduling your appointments and will follow you after surgery, making sure you are connected with our support group and available resources as needs are identified. Before you are scheduled for your surgical procedure, you will meet with our dietitian, pharmacist, and depending on your insurance benefits, our physical therapist and or occupational therapist to help you prepare for surgery. Our financial counselors will help you navigate insurance or self-pay options. It is my pleasure to assist you in your weight loss journey, improving the health of our community. I first became interested in bariatric surgery during my residency at University of Missouri, Kansas City School of Medicine. Pursuing my interest, I later went on to complete minimally invasive, advanced laparoscopic and bariatric surgery fellowship at Baylor College of Medicine in Houston, Texas. Returning nearby to Sedalia, I began my practice at Bothwell Regional Medical Center. I'm now practicing at United Surgical Associates with office locations in both Independence and Lee Summit. My dedication to bariatric surgery is based on my knowledge that morbid obesity is a life-altering and often devastating health condition that so many in our community face every day. I believe that surgical treatment of morbid obesity is an essential therapy. It can cure an array of health and wellness conditions, including diabetes, depression, gastroesophageal reflux disease, chronic heartburn, joint pain, sleep apnea, hypertension, and a variety of other conditions associated with obesity. Welcome to our program. It is truly an honor to help you throughout your journey. Deciding to pursue surgical weight loss options is not something to take lightly, but it may be right for you. There are many statistics and research that indicate surgical weight loss as an excellent option for weight loss and resolves a variety of conditions you may be suffering from as a result of obesity. However, if you are at a point where your weight or your medical conditions associated with your weight are affecting your life and your personal well-being, it may be time for you to consider a change. Many of our patients are consistently frustrated with the lack of results associated with the new exercise or diet fads. Through our comprehensive program, we will not only help you through surgery, but we will offer you the ongoing tools to be successful going forward. The life each of us has is precious, and you owe it to yourself to be happy and healthy and to live the lifestyle you want to live. Many of our patients wake up each day and consistently think, what if I didn't have type 2 diabetes? What if I could fit into a smaller size dress? What if I could play in the yard with my grandkids? Our goal is to not only help with obesity and obesity-related health conditions, but it is truly to transform your life into the one you want to live. Weight loss surgery is indicated for people who have significant weight to lose, but it's not just about weight. Recently, bariatric surgery has been found to significantly improve quality of life through resolution or improvement of other health issues related to excess weight. Do you suffer from type 2 diabetes, sleep apnea, joint pain, high blood pressure, gastric reflux? Often, bariatric surgery can help improve your life, and these conditions can be indicative of the need for weight loss surgery, which can improve your health and quality of life. We use the following indications to determine if you may be a good candidate for bariatric surgery. A body mass index, often referred to as BMI, of 40, which is approximately 80 to 100 pounds over ideal body weight. If you've not done so already, you can find your BMI using our online BMI calculator. If you've had previous efforts with weight loss programs or with working with your primary care doctor. If you currently have an uncorrected metabolic disease such as thyroid disease that may cause obesity, that will need to be corrected first. No other serious medical conditions that would make surgery too hazardous no unstable or untreated psychological illnesses and or unrealistic expectations of surgery and weight loss. No abuse of addictive drugs or alcohol, preferably for at least 12 months. Sufficient motivation to make the lifelong changes in eating habits and exercise required for success after bariatric surgery. Willingness to make a formal commitment to yourself and to the bariatric surgical procedure of your choosing. 
These qualifications are frequently also used by insurance companies to qualify a patient for bariatric surgery coverage. We offer options for both cash pay and insured patients and are here to assist you in navigating through either. Here are some recommendations for moving the process along with your insurance provider. First, contact your insurance provider to determine if your desired procedure is covered. We recommend you keep a record of the individual's name you speak with and the date and time. Be sure to ask, are there any exclusions on my policy regarding bariatric surgery? What are your prerequisites for coverage? If you need help with the process, we are glad to have our financial counselor also call your insurance company to gather information for you. Second, we will need to have a letter of recommendation from your primary care doctor stating you are a surgical weight loss candidate. Your current weight will need to be documented in your chart. We are able to provide an example of a recommendation letter for your primary care doctor's convenience. If you choose our affordable options for cash pay patients, you can bypass the insurance requirements and can be scheduled more quickly. Bariatric procedures can be either malabsorptive procedures that shorten the digestive tract or restrictive procedures that reduce how much the stomach can hold or a combination of both. We are equipped with technology to provide you with safe, effective, minimally invasive surgical options. The best weight loss procedure for you depends on several factors, including your personal preference, associated medical issues, and medical necessity. Next, we will give an overview of each procedure along with the risks and benefits. A gastric bypass decreases the size of the stomach and helps to cause a feeling of early fullness. Gastric bypass surgery has been around for several decades and has proven successful. It is an irreversible procedure. First, a small stomach pouch is created to restrict the amount of food intake. Next, a Y-shaped section of the small intestines is created and attached to this pouch. This allows food to bypass the lower stomach and the first and second part of the small intestines. This procedure reduces the amount of calories and nutrients the body absorbs. On average, more than half the patients lose between 70 and 80% or more of the extra weight and then start to maintain their weight. Long-term success is dependent on accepting new rules for eating and food selection which is taught in the follow-up period and the preoperative education prior to surgery. The advantages to gastric bypass are a rapid initial weight loss and a higher average total weight loss than the gastric band or the sleeve procedure. Potential complications can include leakage, bleeding, nausea or vomiting, ulcerations which can lead to narrowing, dumping syndrome and a small bowel obstructions. Specifics of these complications will be reviewed during your consultation with me and during the preoperative educational process. Gastric banding is a restrictive operation in which a band is placed around the outside of the upper stomach, creating a small pouch and a narrow passage into the rest of the stomach. Tightening or loosening the band controls the rate at which food travels from the upper to the lower stomach. The adjustable gastric band is surgically implanted during a short laparoscopic procedure. A port is placed under the patient's skin which allows for adjustments to the band after surgery. The adjustments can make it tighter to increase weight loss or looser to slow down weight loss. This procedure does have a slower initial weight loss than the gastric bypass and Regular follow-up is critical for success. On average, we expect patients to lose between 40 to 50 percent of their excess body weight following this procedure. There are some advantages to gastric banding. It is the least invasive approach. It has the lowest operative complication rate, lowest mortality rate, and lowest malnutrition risk. But gastric banding is not recommended for everyone. You should review your specific case with me to determine the right option for you. After gastric banding surgery, potential risks include band slippage, 
erosion and deflation, port site infection, severe reflux, dilation of the esophagus, or nausea and vomiting. The duodenal switch procedure combines restriction with malabsorption to give you a very powerful bariatric surgical procedure. The operation is usually, but not always, reserved for obese patients with BMI in excess of 50. The special benefit to this procedure is that you may lose 85% or more of your excess weight, allowing you to achieve a truly healthy weight. In the duodenal switch, we take out a part of the stomach similar to a gastric sleeve. Then the first portion of the small intestines is divided so that the pancreatic and the bile drainage is bypassed. The near end of the small intestines is then attached to the beginning of the duodenum. These operations often result in a high degree of patient satisfaction because patients are able to eat larger meals than with a purely restrictive or standard gastric bypass procedure. The long-term maintenance of body weight can be successful if the patient adapts and adheres to a straightforward diet, exercise, and behavioral regimen. There may be a period of intestinal adaptation when bowel movements can be very liquid and frequent. The condition may lessen over time or may be a lifelong occurrence. Close, lifelong monitoring for protein malnutrition, anemia, and bone disease is recommended. Since food bypasses the duodenum, the malabsorption of some minerals and vitamins also apply to these techniques, only to a greater degree. The vertical sleeve gastrectomy is a restrictive form of weight loss surgery in which approximately about 70 to 80 percent of the stomach is removed, leaving a cylindrical or sleeve-shaped stomach about the size of a banana. As of now, this is the most common bariatric procedure in the United States. With this surgery, the stomach is drastically reduced in size, but its function is preserved. The sleeve gastrectomy is also not reversible, as a portion of the stomach is actually removed. The vertical sleeve gastrectomy is a good choice for patients who need to lose significant weight, but do not have severe type 2 diabetes. Some of the advantages are that the stomach functions normally, there is more weight loss than a gastric banding. There is no rerouting involved. There are also far fewer long-term complications. One disadvantage of the sleeve gastrectomy is that weight loss can be slower than with a gastric bypass. On average, these patients generally lose between 60 to 65% of their excess body weight. Complications can occur, such as bleeding or leakage along the staple line. Again, these complications will be discussed in greater detail during the consultation with me. The weight loss field continues to develop new options to help patients live a healthier life. Centerpoint Medical Center is extremely excited to offer the intragastric balloon procedure. As opposed to a surgical procedure, we simply place a balloon endoscopically in your stomach. After six months, we remove the balloon. This procedure, coupled with our behavioral and dietary program, provides a non-surgical option to help you lose weight. Patients who have this procedure commonly lose between 20 to 30 percent of their excess weight. The procedure is attractive to many patients because it is a temporary intervention that does not involve a permanent change to the anatomy. However, it is not tolerated well by some patients as nausea and vomiting sometimes occur, especially during the first one to two weeks after the procedure. Please talk with us to determine if this is a good option for you. We require a psychiatric consultation prior to surgery. This is to get a trained opinion and ensure you are stable, cooperative, and ready for a lifelong commitment. Other tests such as an EGD, cardiac clearance, or sleep study may need to be done based on your medical history and will be determined at your appointment with Dr. Joseph. If you've been diagnosed with or have symptoms of sleep apnea, we may require a sleep study before surgery. Mm -hmm. 
Every attempt is made to control your pain after surgery to make it possible for you to move about and be active. This helps avoid problems and speeds recovery. Often, several medications are used together to help manage your post-surgery pain. Although it can vary, the average hospital stay for gastric sleeve is one day, and gastric surgery is two days. For the lap band procedure, most people go home that same day. Almost immediately after surgery, we will require you to get up and move about. We want you up and walking in your room within four hours. After leaving the hospital, you should be able to care for all your personal needs, but you will need help with shopping, lifting, and with transportation for a few days. For your own safety, you should not drive until you have stopped taking narcotic medications and can move quickly and alertly to stop your car, especially in an emergency. Usually this takes three days after lap band surgery and five to seven days after gastric bypass and gastric sleeve surgery. As you know, weight loss is something with which millions of Americans struggle. Dieting and exercise, while effective, has a high relapse rate, as a patient tends to regain much of their lost weight over time. Here at the Centerpoint Medical Center Surgical Weight Loss Program, our focus is on the individual patient and tailoring a solution to help you achieve your weight loss goals. While surgery is an important aspect, it is only one component of what we believe makes our patients successful. Bariatric surgery gives me an opportunity like no other surgical discipline to form great patient relationships while being part of your success. At the end of the day, our patients come to our program for three main reasons, to lose weight, to get healthier, and to change their lives. We look forward to partnering with you on your exciting journey. You are truly taking an exciting step to a better life. Thank you.